from San Francisco, California. This is the Rock and Roll Geek Show. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. <clears throat> Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name's Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Thursday, December 6, 2018, and it is 4.48 p.m. when I'm recording this episode. This is day five, I believe, of the Dog Days of Advent, where a bunch of nerdy podcasters attempt to do a show a day for all the way through Christmas, from December 2nd all the way through Christmas. And here I am with day five, friends. So today is a sad day in rock music. A thank you to Stephen Crocker on the Rock and Roll Geek um, Facebook page, which I did not create, but I do approve people. Look for Rock and Roll Geek Show on Facebook. Thanks to Steve Crocker for being the bearer of bad news today. Sad day in rock because the singer and and founder of a band called the Buzzcocks, named the guy's name is Pete Shelley, died today at age 63. Buzzcocks, this is from BBC.com. Buzzcocks lead singer Pete Shelley's died at 63 of a suspected heart attack. Best known for their hint, ever fallen in love with someone you shouldn't. And this band, they were around around the same time as the Sex Pistols, Aldo and, and the Ramones. I personally was more of a more into the Sex Pistols and Ramones and Generation X during that time, uh, but I was well aware of the Buzzcocks, and they were extremely influential. They were different than all the other punk rock bands in that they were probably the only pop punk band, and they wrote short three minute short tunes, and they were all catchy and and pop oriented. And without the Buzzcocks, there would be not be endless band green day i would imagine was i mean there would be no pop punk without the buzzcocks <clears throat> green day descendants you can name the list on and on i mean uh 999 many many bands would cite buzzcocks as an influence and i would probably say they were in, they were influential on me as well indirectly because you know, they wrote good pop tunes. I'll bet you they were an influence on Paul Westerberg in The Replacements. All right, I'm going to go on and continue reading this. Their management told BBC that Shelley died on Thursday in Estonia, where he was living. BBC more uh, uh, music correspondent, blah, 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 said Buzzcocks, who formed in Bolton in the 70s, were regarded as more polished, but musically no less influential than the Sex Pistols. All right, I just said that. The, B- the band have tweeted... The band? The band? All the, all the Buzzcocks. The guys, the remaining members of the Buzzcocks posted a tweet saying Shelley was one of the UK's most influential and prolific songwriters and co-founder of the seminal original punk band, The Buzzcocks. Singer for The Charlatans, Jim Burgess, said Shelley's perfect three-minute pop songs were the soundtrack to being a teenager. You'll be Miss Peep, but you'll be remembered for a long time for your brilliant music. Singer for Teenage Fan Club, Norman Blake. Not been on here for a while, but I can't... This is, He tweets this. I haven't been on Twitter for a while, but I can't not mark the passing of Pete Shelley. I love the Buzzcocks. His songs were important to me when I was a young man, and they still are to me now. Thank you, Pete, and RIP. You will be missed. Singer Tracy Thorne of Everything But The Girl. Oh, God, but I love the Buzzcocks. And Pete Shelley was an amazing songwriter, but after all, life's only death's compensense. RIP, heart, heart. Neil Gaiman, comic book author, I think he was a comic book author, wasn't he, tweeted, Part of my youth dies with them. Music critic Stephen Tomic Erlewin said, Buzzcocks were one of the most influential, okay, one of the most influential bands to emerge in the initial wave of punk rock with echoes of their music in everyone but from Husker Du to Nirvana. Buzzcocks were inspired by the Sex Pistols' energy, yet they didn't copy the Pistols' angry political stance, he wrote in all music. Instead, they brought that intense, brilliant energy to three-minute pop songs. Shelley's alternately funny and anguished lyrics about adolescence and love were some of the best and smartest of his era. Like I said, I'm not a huge authority on the Buzzcocks, and I wasn't a huge fan, but they did influence me indirectly in a lot of ways. A band that I was in called the Flexipleasers, covered a song from the Buzzcocks called Everybody's Happy Nowadays. Uh, my, the other guy, the other main guy in the Flexipleasers besides me, there were two lead singers in the Flexipleasers, me 
and Mike Voss. Mike Voss and I wrote all the tunes in the Flex of Pleasers, and we both shared the vocals. So whoever wrote what, sometimes he wrote a song that I would sing, and sometimes I would write a song that he sang. We did, we were recording our second album, which never came out. And we were going to do a hidden tracks, and all the hidden tracks were going to be covers. And one of the songs was Everybody's Happy Nowadays. So rest in peace, Pete Shelley. You will be missed. The band formed officially formed in 77. They broke up, I think, in 81. Reunited many times. And uh, as of today, I don't think they were still... They might have still been doing gigs. They, they may have, actually. But I... I I'm probably wrong on that. Steve Crocker will correct me. But rest in peace, Pete Shelley. Our rock heroes are all dying off. 63 is way, way, way too young to die. Speaking of being too young to die, I took my Don, my friend Don, who's 82, I think, to the hospital. I took him to to urgent care to get his foot looked at urgent we went to like a commercial urgent care place because he wanted to go because he had a he had an infected toe and he wanted to get them to put a dressing on it and i draw he puked in it first of all i'll backtrack he threw up in his car the day before he had a stomach virus or something he threw up in his car and wanted me to take him the next day to get his foot looked at by the urgent care because he didn't want to make an appointment with his doctor and i Dropped him off at the urgent care, signed him on, signed him in and everything and registered him and all that. And then while he was in there, I was, I was going to go back to his car and clean up the puke that was all in his car. That's how good of a friend I am. Went back to his car, cleaned up all the throw up in his car, uh, stopped off at the grocery store to get some chicken and stuff to make chicken soup because I promised him I'll make him some chicken soup because he wasn't, he was a little feeling a little under weather. And when I got back to the urgent care... They said, he's gone. We called 911 and he's in the emergency room. <laughs> I'm at that point, I'm freaking out. I, so bottom line is I was in the emergency room for, I finally, I called him and called him and called him and called him and he wasn't answering the phone. Finally, he answered the phone after like, I don't know, six or seven or eight times calling. He finally answered the phone, said he was in and the, told me what hospital he was in. I went home, took a shower, rushed over to the hospital. And stayed with him until all the tests got back. And uh, he thought it was something with his heart. They said it was a heart scare. and uh, But it turned out they sent him home and he's doing better now. And I don't want my friend Don to die. He's, he's one of my closest friends and he's uh, part of my family. So Pete Shelley, way, way, way too young to die at 63. My friend Don, too young to die at 82 as well. So Don's still kicking. Pete Shelley died a horrible, putrid, stench-filled death. Like this show will, friends, if you stop donating. So please keep the donations coming. Thank you for listening, friends. I'm going to close out with a song from the Buzzcocks. This was a B-side. This was never released on an album, I don't think. So the B-side of the song, Everybody's Happy Nowadays, it came out again on, they finally released it on um, an album called Singles Going Steady. This song is Why Can't I Touch It? Thank you for listening, friends. We'll talk to you tomorrow with day seven or day six of the Dog Days of Advent. Have a good one, friends. Here's the Buzzcocks.
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. 